Well, if you really love cool, crisp fall days, warm cider, and bulky sweaters, today was not your day. No, no, no it hasn't. It hasn't been your no. our day for for quite a while. Yeah. It's coming though. Our day no. is coming. No, bulky sweaters <laughs> today were a bad choice, bad but choice. Uh, tomorrow they'll be in fashion as we have some uh, much cooler temperatures on the way. And anytime you go from very warm to very cool, there's a cold front involved. And that front is trying to kick off a couple of showers. There's not too much in the way of rainfall here. You can see how these clouds have just uh, quickly swept across the area. But we have a couple locations where uh, a few showers have developed. Uh, one along the uh, 76 and, and uh, in Ohio where it meets up with I-80. That's a shower that's going to move towards Newcastle. A couple showers down around Cambridge uh, near 77 and 70 where those two come together back in Ohio. But uh, over the next couple of hours, we could see maybe just a little stray shower trying to move through. This is not going to be anything widespread or anything uh, heavy, but a couple of showers. I think these are gone by the time we get to about 1, 2 a.m. Uh, they'll be clearing out of the ridges and then we'll see some clearing skies. And I think tomorrow we'll have a couple clouds around in the morning, but generally the trend is to become sunny and it's going to be a really nice looking day tomorrow. Just a lot cooler. Don't let that fool you. Looking out the window, you might think 80s or 70s like we've had the past couple of days. That's certainly not going to be the case as we'll top off right around 60 for a high temperature tomorrow. Now, when we get into Friday evening, another little cold front comes through here and this is going to touch off maybe another stray shower. Not big rain here. These fronts that are coming through tonight and again Friday evening are not going to have much moisture to work with. With, but beyond that, we'll get back into some uh, drier conditions, I think, for the weekend. At the moment, we have temperatures uh, with cloudy skies still hanging on to the 70s. These 70s are not going to come back until next week, so we, we do have some warmer temperatures showing up in the forecast. But tonight, we drop down into the low to mid 40s, and then we don't get a huge warm up tomorrow. Highs are going to top off in most cases uh, in the upper 50s and low 60s. So a very October temperature coming our way tomorrow. And then from there, we'll lift up those temperatures a little bit Friday and then drop them again the weekend. So we're going to have some ups and downs, downs to deal with. So a breezy night, a spotty shower, and that's about it. Otherwise, some cloudy skies and 45 degrees. Tomorrow we get back into some clearing skies. So we're going to see those skies turning sunny. A cooler setup for sure with highs only in the lower 60s thanks to that cold front that's going to be coming through here. And then we get into the, the rest of the forecast. And I think we're going to be uh, looking at uh, up and down trend here over the next couple of days because we get into Friday back to the upper 60s. Next cold front comes in a cooler weekend and then lots of sunshine next week, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And with that, we're going to see those temperatures building to the low to mid 70s.